Chardonnay 2021, estate grown and bottled. 2021 was a particularly good year. Um, our vineyards are north facing. Uh, we were able to uh, achieve perfect acidity and pH by timing the uh, harvest properly. Uh, we were able to hit a pH of, um, of uh, three and a quarter with an acidity of uh, 618. Uh, the harvest dates were September 7th. It did a long, slow fermentation with indigenous yeast. Uh, the fermentation took uh, approximately 28 days. It was uh, at a temperature of 21 to 24 degrees centigrade. The micro-oxygenation in the barrel really uh, reduced the stress for the yeast, allowed it to uh, ferment evenly, uh, consistently, at very cool temps, allowing it to retain all its fruit, freshness, and acidity. We did a uh, sequential malolactic fermentation in the spring after dropping the barrel room down to three degrees centigrade. Uh, no addition of, uh, of sulfites uh, during the winter uh, allowed us to uh, have the lees decompose and release nutrients in the wine and subsequently, as we came towards the spring, we were able to gently raise the temperature to 12 degrees centigrade and effectively um, uh, have a, a natural malolactic uh, fermentation. Um, it ended up really in a, a, a wine that's uh, very fresh, um, and we we're actually quite pleased uh, with its numbers and as well its uh, sensation in, in the palate and uh, the aromatic profile. Uh, I'd say that 2021 is going to be a, a year uh, to lay down. Uh, it's drinkable now, but I truly believe that this is going to be a wine that's going to age beautifully uh, and be as appealing and lovely as some of the great white burgundies. Uh, having had the opportunity to ferment them in Chassin Oak. Wonderful, wonderful nose, white flower. I get a little bit of a uh, little bit of clove. Mm. Wonderful acidity. Wonderful acidity. It's going to help this wine age beautifully. Chardonnay 2021, it's a keeper. Mm. Enjoy it now and drink it again. You'll join again in time.